All right, so today we are gonna be showcasing the newly Extremes Awakened Tech Vegito Blue and STR Rose Goku Black. Now, honestly, I really wanted to make this video yesterday, but then after I filmed the chain battle video, I was like, you know what? That's enough Dokkan for one day. So I decided to push this back a little bit, but we're here now. And uh, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, I want to go over their Extreme Z Awakening details. So, if you guys happen to already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute and a half. Okay, so starting with the Vegito Blue, his leader skill is Super Type, skip plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 140% when your team includes all 5 Super Types. And then his super attack raises attack and defense, disables enemy's guard, and causes immense damage. And his passive is defense plus 150%, launches an additional, sorry, plus an additional defense plus 50% when attacking, launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And then attack plus 20% with each attack performed up to 200%, keep plus 3 and medium chance of performing a critical hit within the same turn after receiving an attack. And as you can see, his links are not the greatest. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to link level these two, so this is essentially going to be a uh, level 1 link showcase. So that is the Vegito Blue. And then for the Rosé, he is actually not rainbowed. I could have sworn that before the EZAs dropped that he was rainbowed. But I guess I just never pulled that last dupe. So he is at 90%. His leader skill is Extreme Class, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 140% when team includes all 5 extreme types. Uh, super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, raises Extreme Class allies attack by 30% for one turn. And his passive is attack and defense plus 150%, Extreme Class allies key plus 3, and defense plus 50%, plus an additional. Attack plus 50% for Realm of Gods category, Extreme Class Allies. Super Class Enemies, Attack and Defense minus 30%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 50%, and Attacks Effective against all types for the rest of the battle after delivering a final blow, which means that you have to be the one to heal the enemy, right? And then he'll get that full boost. So, uh, just like the Vegito Blue, you know, basically level 1 links, so he's not going to get big bad bosses and show his full potential until we're below 84% HP. So keep that in mind. And yeah, those are the details for our uh, Vegito Blue and Rosé. Once again, Vegito Blue at 100% rainbowed, Rosé at 90%. Although the final dupe doesn't really make that much of a difference, let's be honest, but nonetheless, it's a 90% showcase. Not a rainbow showcase for this guy. So, with all that said, on the first rotation, we have the Tech Vegito Blue linked up with one of his best linking partners, which is the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And with no support, we're starting with 137,000 defense, which is not great. It's not great, but keep in mind that he is stacking attack and defense with every super, right? And uh, he also gets the additional defense plus 50% when attacking. So he's definitely more ideal as a slot 2 unit, but if you want him to get that additional key and the additional crit chance, then you have to put him in slot 1 where he can take that attack first, right? So I guess it really depends on how you want to use him. So obviously taking a normal here for pretty good damage. And our first super is only 1.5 mil, which is kind of sad. But he's going to build up very, very quickly. So second super, 1.9. That's better. Third super, 2.2. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Okay, so no fourth super. But three supers to start things off is pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. And uh, that's only four stacks on his passive. So we need six more attacks to fully max out the attack on his passive. And then from there, he's still going to be building attack with every super. So, not bad. Not bad. Now, second turn, we have the Rosé. And of course, we want to link him up with the uh, Int Goku Black. Because they share a lot more links than, you know, these guys do. 
but uh, that's okay. We have suboptimal links for the Rose. He's starting with 152,000 defense. And I think I'm actually going to do Rose in the second slot just to give us a better chance of delivering that final blow and getting the full boost on his passive and the attacks effective against all types. I feel like it's going to be a little bit annoying to actually time this properly because sometimes you just can't really line up the attacks to get the final blow for Rose, right? So uh, we're going to try our best, but there's a chance that it actually doesn't happen and there's a chance that these guys might actually kill the DT Goku which would also be unfortunate oh no come on come on don't crit don't crit don't crit don't crit don't do it don't don't kill him. please come on don't do it <sighs> oh yo we got so lucky there <laughs> we got so lucky okay so just under 3.7 mil for the super Rose, that is going to be the final blow. He gets that additional attack and defense plus 50%, and he's going to be much better now the next time he comes back around. So, not a bad showing for Rose. Obviously, 3.7 mil is not crazy, but this is without big bad bosses, this is without support, and it's also without his full passive. So, let's see what he can do once all of those factors are factored in, I guess, right? So, uh, this is the second appearance for Vegito Blue. We're up to 250,000 defense, of course, with the support as well from the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And yeah, leaving him in the first slot is fine because, of course, we have type advantage. It's early in the event, but if it was, you know, later on, like against the Super Saiyan 4s, for example, I would probably put him in the second slot just because of, um, you know, that, that defense not being, like, super impressive. Although, once he's able to stack up, he should actually be a lot tankier. So we'll see. So 4 mil was the first super attack. Can we get some additional supers here? Damn it. Okay, so no additional super there, but 4 mil is a huge, huge improvement from what we saw in the, in the first turn, right? From 1.5 to now 4 mil on the second appearance. If we were able to get some more additional supers, then we should have seen something in the range of like 5 mil plus. But, uh, we didn't get lucky there, right? So, it's okay. Alright, so now we have STR Rosé with, uh, the Int Goku Black, who actually kind of blows, unfortunately. Uh, 71,000 defense for this guy. Of course, he does greatly raise defense on a super attack, but it still takes him a very long time to stack up. Uh, Rose looking much better at 228,000 defense. Uh, once again, still no big bad bosses, still no support. So let's see what kind of difference this makes now, at least with a few more links. And also the full passive activated as well. Attacks effective against all types, even though it doesn't really matter here because um, we have type advantage anyways, right? So 5.5 mil is the attack stat. It's not bad. That's not bad. Now, unfortunately, I didn't build my... Uh... Holy crap. Well, yo, at least you don't have to worry about big bad bosses anymore. <laughs> we know big bad bosses will be active the next time we come back around. Um, but as I was saying... I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, that damage we took from the normals really threw me off, so... <laughs> I can oh oh yeah yeah so so my my rose is built very poorly as you can see I'll show you guys he uh, does not have um a lot of additional on his passive I actually gave him more skill orbs recently just to increase his additional but I gave him mostly crit because he didn't have this attacks effective against all types you know thing on his passive before extremes the awakening so crits made sense but now with the attacks effective uh when delivering the final blow it definitely makes a lot more sense to give him additionals over crits so hopefully in the future i'll just pull a lot more copies of this guy and be able to switch that over because i don't really want to spend stones to switch each skill that that that'd be like 50 stones right there which is just not worth it right so he's definitely not built optimally but uh that's just how things go with easy right so 
Uh, back to the Vegito Blue now. Um, 109, 2000 defense. We did take a super, I believe. Um, did we take a super two turns ago? Because that would have decreased our defense. I think that's what it is. Or maybe it's just because we lost the support. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, either way, defense is under 200k, but of course we should be over 250-300k after a couple of supers here, and hopefully the damage is good. Okay, so 4.1 mil per super. I want to see at least two or three. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. Well, um, you know, it happens. I didn't really uh, pay attention to exactly how much HP the Super Saiyan 3 Goku had, so he died. We probably could have seen at least two supers, but he died, so what can you do? Okay, we definitely have to pop an Icarus here, because a super from the giant ape would be pretty disastrous. Uh, we're up to 318k defense though for the uh, STR Rose into Goku Black, looking a bit better now with 166k defense and of course the support from Gohan. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's heal up a little bit with the orbs if we can. We're still going to be w well within the threshold for big bad bosses, so that's not really a concern. And ideally we take a super attack after Rose had a chance. There we go, there we go. Okay, so 7.3 mil. 7.3 mil from Rose. Really impressive. Additional attack, not a super, but 7.3 mil for one super I think is actually quite good considering how good of a support this guy is, right? Like once we get the Rose and Zamasu EZA, once some of the other, you know, Zamasus and Goku Blacks, oh, nice dodge. That was clutch. That was super clutch. Uh, once, you know, some of the other, like, Goku Blacks in the game uh, get Extreme Z Awakenings as well, and um, Zamasu's, of course, get Extreme Z Awakenings, that he's going to be even more effective because right now, like, his support is not providing, you know, that much of a boost to a lot of Realm of Gods units, right? Specifically, like, we're only looking at Rose's and Goku Black's, basically, for, like, the full support, right? But once more of those guys get their Awakenings, that's when the STR Rose is really going to shine. So, uh, yeah. Back to the Vegito Blue, 274k defense, looking pretty good, looking pretty good, and we should be able to finish him off here, I'm hoping that we get a couple of supers just so we can get his like full, like, get a good look at his full potential, because so far we've been seeing some good stuff, but not really seeing him at like max power, come on, <sighs> dude, it's... That's the most frustrating thing when you do showcases, man. Like, when you know a unit is capable of more, but the RNG is just not really working in your in your favor. So instead of getting, you know, what, what should be, like, on average, at least two supers every turn, we're just getting the one super. Um, at the very least, we did fully build up his passive. So now we have that full 200% uh, attack boost from, you know, attacking which is nice, but nonetheless, um, we could be seeing a lot more. We, we could be seeing a lot more. Okay, uh, man, I am very worried about both the Goku Blacks here. I really am. I mean, a lot more worried about Int Goku Black as opposed to SDR Rose. I am going to put him in the first slot to like keep him out of you know, harm's way for the most part. And then I think the other two guys should be fine. We might take a super in the first slot. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Back to back dodges. Back to back dodges. Okay, I see you. No, this guy's doing better than UI Goku. This guy's legitimately doing better than UI Goku. Because UI Goku loves to eat supers. He loves to eat super attacks. Yesterday, I had a run where I had uh, AGL UI, right? And AGL UI, this man, had five attacks um, against him, right? Four of them were normals. One of them was a super attack. Guess which one UI decided to eat? 
We got four dodges, guys. Four dodges out of five. One of them was a super. Guess which one? He didn't dodge. I'm not going to say it because it, it's obvious. You guys already know. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. Back to Vegito Blue. 344k defense. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't expect us to really take a super again, at least on this turn. Um, because we just had a super last turn. So, hold on. How much dodge did I give this guy? 11 dodge. And he doesn't have any dodge on his passive, right? Yeah, so it's just the 11 dodge from his uh, hidden potential that saved our butt twice. That's crazy lucky. That is crazy, crazy lucky. Ooh, token attack. Nice. Okay, so eating normals or double digits, as you would expect. I'm getting this tutorial right now because I had to switch my device, so everything is new. Or at least the game thinks everything is new for me. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I should... Maybe I do need the, need the tutorial, man. <laughs> Maybe I do need the tutorial. All right, 7.3 mil. 7.3 mil. Attack stat on this token attack. We might one-shot this guy. We might actually one-shot this guy. Came close. Came really close. Additional super. Yo, Vegito Blue better launch like four supers in a turn against full power Super Saiyan 4 because this is really pissing me off. This is really pissing me off. Like, the likelihood of us only getting one super every turn is actually like not that high. You know, it's actually pretty unlikely that we only get one super every single turn like that. <sighs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're all good. We're all good. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, let me see. So we lost big bad bosses, unfortunately. Should still be fine though, because you know, Rose has a uh, type advantage, the int one that is, and then you know, SDR Rose is getting some good defense on a super attack, so he should still tank pretty well here. And. Good damage, okay. Five point was it five point nine mil, I believe. Yeah, five point nine mil. Um int int Goku Black slash rose has actually one of the best super attack animations in the entire game. It's just a shame that he's so outdated otherwise. Um so yeah, fingers crossed we get his easy A soon. Uh he ate that pretty decently actually. So can't complain there. Um, the only thing I can complain about really right now is uh, Tech Vegito Blue letting me down. Because I've seen this guy launch 2 or 3 supers every turn on some of my runs that I used him on off camera. And now that we're showcasing him, it's like this guy has like stage fright or something, you know? He just like can't perform. Because if we had like 2 supers every turn, our defense would be over 400k easy. You know, two to three supers, maybe 500k defense, which is still not the best considering he doesn't get like damage reduction or anything like that, right? So he is still gonna be taking quite a bit of damage against like strong enemies, you know, if he's getting supered. Um, come on, come on, dude, come on, no. This is actually like so unlikely <laughs> it's letting me down man letting me down I'm, I'm trying to talk you up to all the people watching right now I'm trying to tell people that you're a beast and you're just not coming through for me man but you know blue is just not coming through what can I say but you guys know what he's capable of, of course. I mean, you, you, you can tell. You can see the potential. The, the RNG is just not with us today. <laughs> the RNG is just not with us. I'm hoping we get at least one more turn here. Um, luckily, at least we do get uh, Big Bad Bosses back. So this Rosé rotation will look quite good. Um... But I am hoping that we get at least one more turn with Vegito Blue. 7.9 mil. Very nice. 
and you know what? We might not make it to the next rotation depending on what the STR or sorry the int Rose does here. If he additionals, I think it might be over. I think it might be over. Ooh, okay. So it looks like we're still gonna only get one super from Tech Vegito Blue, but I mean honestly, even if we weren't gonna kill him with the last super attack here, um you know, he probably would have only super once anyways and disappointed me again. So at least now we'll kill him with this one super attack. Right? And uh he can't disappoint me anymore. He can't disappoint me anymore. <laughs> But you know Blue is a monster, guys. Just not in this video. Just, just not today. Just not today. Okay, one sec. Let me just find some new music here because this video is going a little bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, let's put on the Tech LR Bird Coup Revival OST. Well, there you have it. That is the Vegito Blue and Rose showcase. I wasn't actually expecting Rose to look more impressive than Vegito Blue in this video. That was actually a surprise. Um, but, you know, I think it depends on uh, the RNG at the end of the day, right? If you get good RNG, then Vegito Blue will sometimes look much better than Rosé. If you get bad RNG like we did in this video where he's only launching one super. I mean, aside from the first turn, the first turn he got three supers and I was like, yo, we're off to a good start. Yo, this is, this is gonna be a nice showcase for Vegito Blue. Only one super every turn after that is just so unlikely, but it happens sometimes. So on you know runs where you have this bad RNG, Rose will consistently look better because you know you're not as reliant on RNG to go your way for him to put out good damage, as you saw, you know, close to eight mil um, with level one links, and then uh, you know getting some good defense, not not crazy defense, but good defense, good support, all that stuff. Whereas for the Vegito Blue, you know, he got some decent defense, but offensively, he could have been much better um, because, you know, he had the potential to launch four supers every turn. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting two to three, though, every single turn, and he only got one, right? So his defense didn't get built up as much. His uh, damage didn't get built up as much. And uh, overall, he just didn't look as impressive as he could have um, in that in that run. So, yeah, um... There you go, guys. That is the showcase. I think both of them are very good. Uh, as you did see, Vegito Blue is more reliant on the RNG to be really effective. But on some runs, man, he is just gonna almost solo everyone because of all those supers. And then on other runs, he's gonna be pretty good, but not like super impressive, like this one right here. And Rose as a whole is just really solid. Um, neither of them can really survive super attacks or you know, tank super attacks well on the hardest events of the game, like, uh, you know, against, against, you know, Broly, or in chain battle, or, sorry, not chain battle, uh, against Broly in red zone, or, um, Cell Max, obviously, like, those will still punish them, but they're good enough for most events of the game, I don't think they're the best EZAs in the game, but they're st still quite good, and, uh, I'm really glad that both of these units are usable once again, which is, the most important part so uh guys that is gonna do it for the showcase um maybe i'll do a separate video you know take them on some other events just to like give you a better idea of what vegeto blue can really do but uh that's just how it goes sometimes that's just how it goes sometimes so thank you guys so much for watching uh let me know in the comments what you think about both of these ezas which one do you think is better and as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out